Hi, my name is Bogdan. In this video, I want to introduce the new feature we just added in Action Form, and that is the ability to link two drop downs together. So, when one changes, the other one auto -pop populates with new values. And I will follow through the classic example with having uh, car brands and car models. So, when the brand changes, the model specific to that brand are loaded. And I don't know anything about cars, but I have an XML here with all the data. Okay, so off we go to create the new dropdown. We call this brand. And here in the items, I will go and borrow, let's say, Alfa Romeo. And let's say AMC. So notice how I put one on a line. And here you can also specify different value. For example, if you had car um, codes for each entry, you could put it here. For example, 0, 1, and this is the value associated with that text. But in this case, this is the name of the brand is also its ID. Okay, and here I can also specify a text that will show in the dropdown before I select any option. So I can say, please select a car brand. So nothing new so far. I have a form with a dropdown, nothing spectacular. But now I, now I go in and create the second drop down and here it's where the magic happens notice this link to option so I can link this to another drop down and here it will list all the drop downs I have in the same form I'll write the same an, uh, um, text to display when no value is selected and here you start listing the uh, entries and you list all the entries in the same text box but prefix them with the parent name like this notice in the description you have an example so in this case I will take the Alfa Romeo and AMC brands And now I, I will put the models here. Let me grab a few models. So let's say I take this one. I will only tra take three of each. Let's say I take this one and GTV. Okay. And for AMC, I will take this one. and two more let's say Concord and Gremlin they all sound good <laughs> okay and this is it I'll also add a button and under this button add an action to display the values that were actually submitted. Display message and say you selected brand brand. This is a form token that will get replaced to the actual value that was selected in the drop down in the brand drop down and another token for the model. Let me check the field name that are correct. This one is not correct, this one should be model and the other one should be brand. Yes, this is correct. Okay, so when I click the button it will display me it will display on the screen the selection that I just made. Okay, so I'll go back. And here notice the initial text that I wrote. 
please select a carbonic please select a module a model the model should be empty because i haven't selected any brand yet but the brand should show the two brands and when i select either one in the second drop down i will see the options for that brand so i can ch choose alfetam and then i can switch to amc and now there are the models for AM uh, amc okay so it's very easy to configure you specify all the entries in the same text box so it's very easy to configure you don't have a complex interface here you can also specify the values both in both drop downs for example here if i had a module uh, um, an id let's say an id for each model i would say maybe imc one two three and this would be the value okay and that's it i don't know what else to tell you because it's, it's, it's so darn easy i hope this helps and thank you for your time